Hey guys, and welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is by XYZ Game Labs, and it's called Inuka. Inuka is for two to four players, and it is about five to 15 minutes to play the game, and about ages, I'm guessing about six and up in the, the game. In the game, you're gonna be a spirit of nature, uh, an Inuka, and of course, you're going to be clashing against each other to be named Nature's Emissary. And as you clash against each other, you're gonna be using three different types of cards. You can attack, defend, or taunt each other, and it has a rock, paper, scissors element to it in which you're going to be placing down the cards. They all have their, their own abilities or strengths, two, three, two, and one. And there's a bit of a drafting mechanism to begin with. Depending if you're playing the 2v2 or the 1v1 mode or simply the multiplayer mode, it's going to depend on how the game is played, which we'll talk about right after I show you what is included in the game, Inuka, down below. All right, guys, so here we have the contents for Inuka. And as you can see, there are nine different cards in the game. You're going to be getting defense, attack, and taunt. And each of them has their own unique number, one through three, three being the strongest and one being the weakest. You're also going to be getting a leaf token and these stones, which will signify the fact that you have won a round. There is, of course, the rest of the cards for the other three players, the rule book and the box. The box, uh, the rule book actually comes with all the different artwork and explains exactly how to play the game. And this is pretty much all you're going to need for the game. Inuka, let's go above and talk about the different game modes and how to play. So just before we get started explaining the rules, let me go ahead and tell you about the two different variants. The first one is a 1v1 style game in which you're going to be getting a hand of cards, drafting them and playing them out and it has a similar rock paper scissors style gameplay however you're going to be trying to obtain this leaf uh, this leaf totem here and if you acquire it and then play an attack and successfully attack you're going to win the round otherwise you can play back and forth until nobody has any cards left and the person with this at the end of the game is the winner the multiplayer variant has a multiplayer clash that happens first and then it has a clash dueling style gameplay after somebody acquires the leaf totem in which you play the person to your left and then following the next person and then finally the last person there and and if you acquire all, if you beat everybody out in a duel, you're going to get the round over point. If not, somebody else will acquire this. It'll go on until the game ends or somebody beats everybody in a challenge. Now, to begin the game, Inuka, you're simply going to get all nine of these cards. Then you're going to select five of them. Now, remember, the threes are stronger than the twos and the twos are stronger than the ones. However, each of these also has a rock, paper, scissor element. In fact, the taunt is always going to beat defense and the defense will always beat the attack and the attack is always going to beat the taunt. So selecting these cards is going to vary. Now, of course, you might want to go for all the threes to begin with, which is probably a good idea. However, defining which ones you're going to want afterwards is going to be very interesting and based on what you think other players are going to do. In the two-player game, of course, be making sure that you acquire the totem and then simply attacking afterwards and winning is going to guarantee you that win, but of course people are knowing that, and so they might actually pick up a lot of the defense cards to begin with thinking you're going to be on the attack. And the multiplayer is going to work the same way. But in the uh, two-player variant, you're just going to keep playing until somebody acquires this, and then play the cards down. So every round, players are going to play cards face down and then simultaneously flip them up. Whoever is going to win is going to secure this and then of course you're going to either do the two player variant which is play back and forth until the last player standing wins the round or in the multiplayer variant in which you'll do the free for all by placing it down and then continue to place cards down individually throughout the rounds until somebody acquires uh, the, uh, the totem and they get that by beating everybody else or simply being the last player. Another thing to note is in the multiplayer variant if somebody has one card left over they're in instantly kicked out of the round, but not in the two-player variant. So let's go below and talk about the different ways to play the game and how it functions. So I've went ahead and set up for two players and a third player over here for a later example. And we're going to go ahead and show you the two-player variant of Inoka. Now the first thing you're going to notice is you're going to be getting nine cards, of course three of each different type with the numbers one, two, and three. These players are going to get to choose their own five cards of their choice. It doesn't matter which one they want to pick. But remember, the threes are always the strongest, so maybe each player is going to select, for example, one of each of the threes. It's more than likely going to happen in a multiplayer game because these are very powerful cards. Now of course, what are you going to pick next? Well, remember in a two-player game, attacks are very important important because if you control the totem and you win via the, an attack, you will simply win the round. So he'll take attacks. This player, however, might take two of the different twos. The rest of the cards are going to be removed from the game, and these cards, which are still kept secret, are going to be put into their player's hands, their owner's hands. Okay, so now they've got their own unique five, uh, set of five cards. Now they're going to begin by clashing. Clashing is pretty simple. Pick one of the cards and place it face down. So just like this. And then you're going to flip them over. 
Uh, in this case, you have a taunt and a shield, and the taunt is going to beat the shield. These cards will get discarded here, and this player is going to acquire the leaf shield, which is very important. That's what he wants. And now he has the ability, if he can secure an attack on the opponent, to uh, win the round. The other way is, of course, if the, he, he's used up all of his cards and he still has this, he's going to win. Now, this player does not want him to play an attack, uh, but he doesn't have the defenses, so he's nervous. Now, he, does, he doesn't know he has that, so perhaps he'll go ahead and play this to defend against this one here. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and place these guys face down and flip them up. Oh, he did try an attack, but luckily these guys are tied. In a two-player game, during a tie, they're both going to get discarded, and he's not going to win the round instantly, which is good for him. Okay, so again, we're going to go ahead and choose uh, based on what the cards they have. This guy will go ahead and select this three, and this player is going to select this one here and flip them over. In this case, uh, once again, uh, the, uh, oh, actually, in this case, the uh, taunt here is going to beat the shield, and this is going to move over here now. So he's now secured the leaf shield. Okay, we're going to go ahead and flip them over once again, and upright, the attack is going to lose to the taunt, uh, uh, no, sorry, yeah, the attack is, go no, the attack is going to beat the taunt, sorry, the attack beats the taunt, so he's going to keep this, and for the final one, this, and flip them over, oh, and no, sorry, because I, I think the attack, no, the attack beat the taunt. So what that means is he actually won with the leaf shield with the attack. And so that means the round is over. He's going to instantly secure this. Because remember, whenever you're playing a two-player game, if the attack, if the person who has the leaf shield attacks and wins, he's actually going to secure the round. In which case, then each player is going to once again get, get all their cards again and start the round anew. Whoever gets three of these is going to be the winner. When you play a multiplayer round of, of, of uh, Inokai, you're going to simply have all these players in here. You're going to have them each select five cards. We'll go ahead and simply have them choose the same five cards again. Why not? Or five. And then we're also going to go ahead and shuffle these guys up and just say this guy's a random player. He's going to go ahead and pick his own unique cards. One, two, three, four, and five, and these will get removed as well. Okay, now to begin a multiplayer round, it's very, very similar, except you're going to do a multiplayer clash to start with, and then you're gonna be doing challenges. So this player's gonna play a card, so will he, and so will he. We'll just go ahead and see what happens randomly here, and flip them over. Okay, in this instance, this uh, ta these taunts are going to beat this guy here, so he's going to lose this, and these guys are going to return and simply choose new cards because it's going to be a tie. Bam! But this is a three and this is a two, so this guy is going to win the multiplayer clash. Whenever you win a multiplayer, you get the card back, and whenever you lose, you lose the card forever. This sh then the leaf shield is going to go over to the uh, leaf tome is going to go over to this guy here. In which case, the player on his left is going to be the person who is going to be challenging him. If he is able to beat this guy and then this guy in a row, he's going to secure the round and it's going to start over again. However, if somebody else wins, it'll be passed and continued that way. Once uh, somebody has beaten his the other two opponents, they're going to win the round and start over. Or if everybody has been reduced to one card except for one player, those players are going to be dead, and that player is going to secure the round. And that's the basics of how to play Inuka, simply going ahead and acquiring these different stones, getting three, and winning the game. Of course, this totem is very important, and depending on the way you play is going to depend on how you draft. Now, the first thing I want to talk about in this review is the drafting element. It's interesting because you think you're always going to want those threes, but you're not always. Sometimes you're going to want to pick attacks, or if you think your opponent's going to be aggressive, you can go ahead and pick defense. And then if you think somebody's going to be defensive, you can pick taunt. It's basically a very stylized and beautiful version of rock, paper, scissors. It's what I like to call a tabletop game, uh, or sorry, a dinner tabletop game, because you're going to be playing this game before dinner, and placing a bet or placing a wager. It's something that's very quick, very simple, and it's one of those kind of deciding factor games. It's a game you play like Liar's Dice, right? There's not a lot to it, but what is there is really nice and really intriguing. I love the style of Inuka. It reminds me of Kiwetan, a game I originally reviewed, or my sister reviewed, a very long time ago on this channel, and I love the stylized version of it. I like the forest theme, and I enjoy the fact that it brings one of those old schoolyard games into tabletop gaming with a nice little unique twist. It's something that's not too, compli too complex, and it's also not something that's going to be just downright boring in which you don't think you have a strategy. As players play cards, especially in the multiplayer round, you're going to know what's in their hand, and based on what, they, what is in their hand, and when they get their cards back as winners, they might think they're winning, but everybody else kind of has an idea of how to play against them, in which it might be a, a negative thing. Learning how to play cards in this game has strategy. It has some value and also choosing the cards usually you're going to want to pick attack especially in a two-player game but knowing that somebody might be more aggressive i might go for defense so that you never score an attack while you have that totem and it might come down to the last card in which it might switch into my favorite the very last second i really really like that now of course if you're interested in a deep complex strategy card game this is not going to be for you this is something that's very very simple yet elegant and nice in its own way it has a kind of 
finesse to it that I enjoy playing games. Now I got to play with a couple, a couple people. Some people were dissatisfied with it. Some people were neutral with it. And some people really enjoyed the game. And I think that's going to come down to basically how much you like games that are simple and straightforward and to the point that have kind of a unique little twist to a basic game. Overall though, I enjoy Inuka and I think most players who like simple miniature style card games or micro games are really going to enjoy this little this little like wagering style game in which who's gonna pay for dinner not me i won that'll be you all right guys thanks for watching another unfiltered gamer kickstarter board game review if you like this video go and check out the rest of our videos here on youtube like subscribe and comment it all does help and we do greatly appreciate it as well as checking out the game inuka which will be on kickstarter if you like the stylized small micro card games that involve Winning bets or placing bets are probably gonna enjoy this game as well I know I'm going to use it whenever I play a little miniature tabletop game that involves My grandparents or somebody who's more used to the old style games This is beautiful and has a little elegance to it And uh, if you guys like Hawaiian, it's definitely one to pick up Also go ahead and check our website unfilteredgamer.com We've got tons of blog posts, giveaways, kickstarter lists and more We're currently giving away the game Fire of Eidolon Which is a stylized version It has a kind of um, forbidden island take to it I think it's a forbidden island killer so I really enjoyed that as well as checking out my friends everythingboardgames.com and the giveaway geek as well as our new friend show me how to win you can check out their channel as well in the description below all right guys that's all i got this time and as always i look forward to becoming nature's emissary with you again